It cost me around £50,000 to study an integrated master's course in aerospace engineering at the University of Sheffield, but for the average student, the cost of tuition fees, accommodation and groceries, so basically the minimum you need, would in fact be £12,700 more. In this video, I'm going to share how I managed to save £12,700. Let's begin with year one. So firstly, tuition fees. As a home student, the UK tuition fee rate is £9,250 every year. And this is common for most courses in most universities in the UK. Since it was my first year, I stayed in university-owned student accommodation, which was about five minutes walk from the university. The type of accommodation I stayed in was a shared flat where everyone had their own bathrooms and the kitchen was shared between six people. The university-owned accommodation is slightly more expensive than similar counterparts within the same vicinity, However, it was a great place to meet other first years and basically get to make more friends. So the cost of this accommodation for the duration of my first year was £5,852, which roughly comes around to £133 a week. Last expense to cover in first year is my groceries. So in fact, my groceries expense has been pretty consistent throughout all the times I've been at university. So my grocery on average has been around £100 a month. So my groceries for the first year at university totals to £1,015. The overall cost of tuition fees, rent and groceries for the first year of university is £16,117. Moving on to year two. The tuition fee for this year again was £9,250, however, this is where I saved nearly £6,000 on my tuition fees. I received a £6,000 bursary from a government agency this year. And the way in which I found this bursary was very fortunate because I found a leaflet on my kitchen table in first year and decided just to apply for it. So my tip here, I guess, is to do pay attention to the random leaflets you get through the post while staying at university because some of them may have some interesting opportunities that you can apply to. Therefore, taking that £6,000 bursary into account meant that the tuition fee I personally had to pay to the university was only £3,250. I also stayed in private student accommodation in my second year because it was much cheaper in comparison to my first year. So the total rent for second year came to £5,368 and this was over a course of 44 weeks. In second year, the cost for my groceries was pretty much the same as my first year. So I'm going to say I spent £1,015. Moving on to my third year. In fact, this year was very much more different to my other years, mainly because I studied in Australia for a year, even though I was technically still part of the University of Sheffield. I was supposed to stay down under for basically around 12 months pretty much but unfortunately because of the coronavirus pandemic i did have to return back to the uk only having stayed in australia for around seven months so because i did decide to do a year abroad my tuition fee at the university of sheffield was reduced to 15%. Therefore, I only had to pay £1,387.50. Also, just to be clear, I didn't actually have to pay anything to my host university that was UNSW. The rent in Sydney is actually much, much higher than in Sheffield. In fact, it's almost two times more expensive to stay in Sydney than it is in Sheffield. Even though I was only in Sydney for half of my intended stay, I paid £6,776 for that duration. Also, adding on to this sum of money is my cost of groceries, which came to around £700 for the duration of stay down under with the Aussies. Therefore, the grand total for third year came to £8,863. 
But if you're wondering, what about the flights? What about all that other stuff? Do you not have to pay for that? Well, I'd say check out my other video, which I'll put a card to here, which talks about how I traveled for free to many different places whilst at university. But keep watching this video and make sure you watch that one after this. Now onto my fourth and final year at university. So having received no discounts or bursaries in my final year at university, my tuition fee was the full £9,250. However, my accommodation in my final year was the cheapest of all accommodations that I've had throughout my degree. The total cost of this accommodation was £5,236 for the full academic year. And again, my groceries for this full academic year was £1,015. So the total expenditure for tuition fees, rent and groceries for my fourth year is £15,501. So ultimately, if there was a student that didn't have any bursaries, nor did they do a study abroad, then their total cost for university would be roughly £62,800. And you can see the assumptions I've made for this in the description below. So the difference between what I paid and what an average student paid is around 12.7 to 12.8 thousand pounds. Since you watched this video, I'm guessing you want to make the most from the money you have, then I'd suggest go watch this video here, which is all about how you can travel for free whilst at university.